Hello everyone. Now this is the part four of NEET MDS 2021 question paper series. Before starting this video, again, I want to say that these are just remember questions. So the question or option, even my answers may vary. Now let's start the video. So the first question was about the irregularly irregular pulse. So they have mentioned a patient condition with irregularly irregular pulse. So it, it is defined as a pulse in which the heartbeats are spaced very irregularly. The causes are atrial fibrillation, premature atrial contractions, and premature ventricular contractions. Moving to the next question. It is about the anti-gout drug xanthine oxidase and allopurinol inhibition. So it undergoes suicide inhibition, also known as suicide inactivation. So it is an irreversible enzyme inhibition in which a substrate uh, enzyme binds to a substrate irreversibly uh, through a covalent bond. I hope it's clear. Now, next question. So next question was an image-based question in which a diagram of go -get technique was given. So it's a mandibular nerve block technique. So the anatomical landmarks are anterior border of ramus, tendon of temporal muscle, corner of the mouth, intertragic notch of the ear, and external ear. Now moving to the next question. It is about the pH of retraction cords. So the pH of retraction cords are acidic. The astringent and hemostatic agents impregnated retraction cord are generally acidic with a pH range from 0.7 to 2. Now the next question was about, uh, it's a direct question from dental material in which the shelf life of elastomeric impression material they have asked. So the uh, elastomeric uh, impression material with least shelf life are condensation silicon. The next question was about the duration of wearing of petrotype face mask. So the duration uh, for maxillary protraction, generally 300 to 600 gram of force is required, 12 hours per day. Generally, it depends on the age of the patient. So the most common, uh, commonly 12 hours per day it is required. So the answer is 12 hours. The next question was about the antigen in ABO blood group. So antigen H is present in ABO blood group. The next question was a direct image-based question in which diagram of TMJ is given, highlighting the synovial membrane. Moving to the next question. So in which light, they have asked about the light criteria. So lights criteria have been widely accepted to differentiate between transudate from exudate. So the light lights criteria for uh, plural fluid exudate are plural, plural fluid to serum uh, protein ratio more than or equal to 0.5. Plural fluid to serum LD is more than or equal to 0.6. And plural fluid LD is more than or equal to 2 by 3 URL. Now, next question is in direct image-based question in which the gingival cyst of newborn was given. Next question. So next question was about the gingivectomy in which they have asked about the knife which is used for gingivectomy. So Kirkland and Auburn's one and two is used for gingivectomy. The armamentarium for gingivectomy are pocket marking forceps, gingivectomy knives. So Kirkland knife is used for incision on the facial and lingual surfaces and on those distal to the terminal tooth in arch. Auburn's knife is used for interdental incisions and BP blades 12 and 5 scissors. Moving to the next question. So it is about the Eagle syndrome, which is an Eagle syndrome is a condition associated with elongation of styloid process or calcification of stylohyoid ligament. So clinically, it is characterized by throat and neck pain radiating into the ear. Thank you. That's all for today's video. If you have any query, let me know in the comment section. And if you find this video helpful, then please press thumbs up. Till then, take care and happy learning. Thank you.